What's up, everybody? I am your Tropics Information Wizard, Ryan Michael Bell. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being with me. If you are uh, new to the channel, check us out on the web at livecortex.com at livecortex.com slash blog, giant blog for Nootropics information, the Cortex Labs Nootropics podcast, which is up to episode number 57 right now, uh, is on the Cortex Labs blog, facebook.com slash cortex stacks, and then my own personal page, which I just started, is facebook.com slash Ryan Michael Ballot. Check me out, like me, see what's up. Uh, okay, so we're going to talk about coloracetam and its subtleness and how it's good that it's subtle. Some of the other racetams are very stimulatory, and that's a good thing. Uh, stimulatory nootropics are a good thing. Depends on the task and depends on what you want to do. In some cases, though, you might already be taking something stimulatory in a staple stack that you might take every day. And then later on in the day, you take some coloracetam. So you don't need the extra stimulation. You just need the functional benefit. You need memory to work better. You need verbal fluency to work better. You know, you need your capacity, functional capacity, work capacity, uh, maybe capacity to to do a spreadsheet or something like where you need a particular types of brain function. And so I'm going to talk about kind of my experience with coloracetam, why it's pretty awesome in that it's subtle, how I use it in conjunction with tyrosine, phenylalanine, and some other stuff, and caffeine. Uh, in just a second, let's do a minute and a half of Product Pro because the special on all the Cortex stuff is ending soon, uh, most notably the Cortex Nootropic stack. So the stack, our stack, our pre-made Nootropic stack right now is 27 bucks. Get a bottle of Cortex at livecortex.com. That stuff turns the brain on. Uridine, CDP choline, artichoke extract, bucopa monnieri. Besides the fake reviews, this is actually a couple of our competitors that realize our stack's being used by pro poker players and Wall Street people that went and wrote fake reviews uh, on the web. Uh, you know, research enough and, you know, just talk to anyone who takes Cortex regularly. I know a lot of you guys take Cortex. It, it, just, it just turns the cognitive lights on. Mental energy, motivation, speed of processing, it's everything quite powerful, you know, used in 15 countries and by business professionals all around the world. Anyway, 27 bucks right now. Get Cortex at livecortex.com. At the end of this video, we'll explain all of our digital nootropic stack lists. Uh, but the most popular one right now is the Beginner's Guide to Aniracetam. All digital, the rest of our guides, as you see right there, they're all digital nootropic stack lists. Very powerful, get them at livecortex.com. And then we've also got nootropics consulting, 40 minute call with me, 15 additional email correspondences, and also consulting for chronic fatigue syndrome. Get that stuff at livecortex.com. Okay, so uh, back to the video. So call a racetam, right? It's this racetam that improves high affinity choline uptake. So it basically just changes the way your brain uses choline, the B vitamin. You need choline to synthesize into acetylcholine. That, that's what it does. And acetylcholine is this excitatory, stimulatory uh, neurotransmitter. And so uh, what coloracetam does is just it improves the process that your brain uses to take choline and convert it into acetylcholine, which is very different than any other racetam, frankly. And this is why it's so different in its subtleness compared to the stimulatory nature of something like oxyracetam. Uh, why I like it so much, coloracetam, and by the way, dose range is five to, 50 milligrams, you know, I guess it, if five to 40 milligrams is really what I'd say. You can go to 50, some folks do. Folks have gone to 70, 80. I don't suggest that I'd stay sticking with five to 40 milligrams. Uh, it's great sublingually dose, it's super easy. The last time I dosed coloracetam, it was sublingual. I just threw five, I think it was five or seven milligrams down. That was it. Very, very simple. Uh, but, the, uh, but the great thing about it is that it, it isn't as stimulatory as aniracetam and oxyracetam. And that might be useful, particularly if you already have something else stimulatory in your stack. So my morning stack is tyrosine, phenylalanine, the B vitamins, all, all the rest of the amino acids, choline, bitartrate, and some inositol, and alpha lipoic acid, right? That's my morning nootropic stack, and then I'm just like, right, and, and some coffee. That's very stimulatory, right? It's a stimulatory wake you up stack. I always make sure I have, uh, you know, a couple grams of sodium too right, right away when I wake up to wake up the adrenal glands and get my brain functioning good. And so I feel really great coming from the gate. So a little coloracetam, you know, maybe an hour later or maybe even half hour after my morning stack and breakfast is really quite cool. And it's great because it is subtle in that it's not gonna provide any extra, significantly extra stimulation, it's mild stimulation. But the working memory and the processing capacity and the verbal fluency, you know, and the brain that you have to maybe like work on the spreadsheet or work on some uh, otherwise analytical task or anything that requires your brain just be, be in the zone and be able to focus and be able to look at digits or be able to look at whatever, uh, all that stuff is turned on. Sometimes with the stimulatory racetams, the stimulation edges out the memory and the capacity 
like the functional benefits of it. And so you have to sort of be careful, right? That's why coloracetam is useful. If you don't want that stimulatory aniracetam effect, which is good in its own right and good sometimes, it all depends on the situation. But if you just want the functional benefits without much of the stimulation, because perhaps you're drinking coffee or maybe you got some theocrine or maybe something else you're taking is, is stimulatory, coloracetam is a great bet. We've got the most epic coloracetam stacks in the Racetam God Guide. The Racetam God Guide is a guide that breaks down, it's 80 or so stacks that you can take that work, that are exceptionally effective, uh, but they break down each Racetam. So you got Paracetam, Paramaracetam, Oxaracetam, Phenylparacetam, Anaracetam, Fasoracetam, Coloracetam, Nefaracetam, uh, all of the eight major Racetams, one of them obviously being Coloracetam, and we have very many powerful stacks. In fact, all of the digital guides have coloracetam stacks in it, except for I think smarter, better, faster, right? So the new pet pro stack list, the nootropic stack for the business professional, um, man, very, very powerful stuff. And, and absolutely the beginner's guide to anaracetam. We'll explain all those digital guides here in a second, but before we end the video, still everything right now is 20% off everything at the Cortex Labs website, ending pretty soon, okay? So get it while you can. Thanks so much for watching. Get yourself some coloracetam. The stuff is awesome. What's up, everybody? Ryan Michael Baller here. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Look, we've got, uh, as it stands, uh, five primary products that I want to just explain to you. You heard us mention them during the video, so I'm going to break them down. Number one, from left to right, the Cortex Nootropic Stack. This is a, a cognitive enhancement stack that you really want to take to turn the lights on. Just to give you an idea, hardcore business folks that require 18 to 20 hours of brain function uh, take the Cortex stack. That's what we initially designed it for, but then like everybody in the nootropic sphere loved it. Uh, verbal fluency, speed of processing, motivation, drive to want to work. That's what the Cortex stack does. Moving right along, the Anaracetam uh, guide there. That is called the Beginner's Guide to Anaracetam. Breaks down 25 powerful Anaracetam stacks. Shows you how to use Anaracetam. It's essentially the everything guide to Anaracetam. Uh, long demanded. Folks asked us for it. We delivered. It is fully digital. Lots of powerful stacks. And then there's the nootropic stack for the business professional. That's basically 100, right around 100 powerful uridine, modafinil, theocrine, aniracetam, oxiracetam, phenylparacetam, alcar stacks for business situations for the type of brain states that business folks need for sustained performance. Next is the racetam god guide. That is a high level every racetam guide, uh, you know, digital guide. We've got all the major racetams with accompanying focus stacks and memory stacks and speed of processing stacks. Uh, in that racetam. There's eight major nootropic racetams, and that guide explains all of them and accompanying stacks. Then there's the new Pept Pro Stack List. The new Pept Pro Stack List is a digital guide that explains oral, so just taking it by mouth, sublingual, taking it under the tongue, and then intranasal, spraying new Pept nasal spray in your nose, stacks. It's just a bunch of stacks, a giant stack list of new Pept stacks that are highly effective, pro level. Uh, specific brain state inducing type of new pep stacks. That thing has been a hit out there with the market. And then last, there's Smarter, Better, Faster. Smarter, Better, Faster is the all around, all everything nootropics digital guide. If you just want to learn everything, many racetams, modafinil, et cetera, get Smarter, Better, Faster. It's like the guide you need to know if you're new to nootropics to learn basically everything and to walk away knowing what you need to know on nootropics. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for watching. Get this stuff at livecortex.com and rock on.